Hello YouTube friends, welcome to Maria's Miscellany, where in this video I am sharing some projects that I have done using playing cards and also a de-stash of my playing card collection. I had actually tried to do this video live a couple of days ago and it just didn't work out. I had all of my card uh, boxes of cards laid out on my table and you know it looked kind of cool and I thought you know I would do that but uh, it didn't work and I had to pick up all those boxes but um, here is um, an assortment of each of them so I'll share that with you at the end but what I wanted to show um, is um, what I've done with playing cards now, I have a huge collection of playing cards at least to me I think it's huge and um, you know they were just sitting there I had originally bought them to uh, sell on eBay or Etsy what have you a while back but um, yeah we may have sold a deck or two but didn't really push them too much and um, they just sat there so recently since I've become a junk journaler I've seen people using cards in so many ways I thought oh cool I've got all this material I can use but then when I started pulling them out I realized I have way more cards than I will ever be able to use probably so um, I decided to share them and that's where the D stash comes in um, now a couple of my subscribers that um, entered a giveaway I did a little while back did get some of these cards if you're watching I'm sorry you didn't get them all but I just kept finding them after I had already sent them to you so if you didn't get some of these I apologize they just kind of came out of the woodwork later all right so the first thing I want to share is these little boxes now this is the plain one and um, I will share a link below where I got the idea and the instructions to make these boxes because this is not a tutorial I'm just sharing what I did but Elizabeth Brewer had a live video um, a little, I think last week or a little while back and um, she made these little boxes uh, now her boxes that she had they were just like that the lid was like that and um, I didn't quite you know that didn't quite I didn't quite like it too much just it staying like that so I thought of a way to close them and all I did was add um, one playing card fold it in half and then fold it not quite in half about a third of the way just so that tucked in here it will have a way to close and the whole box is constructed um, like this just with folded cards tucked into each other and like I said, Elizabeth has an awesome tutorial on it. Um, I also found another YouTuber that took Elizabeth's idea. Well, even Elizabeth got it from somebody else, but I don't know who that was. So she, you can watch her video and, and find out. But um, somebody else, and I apologize, I can't think of the name right now. I have a cold in my head. It's a little foggy. But um, I'll leave her video below, though. She used the same idea. And she used a cute, cute little uh, brad for a closing to make Christmas ornaments. So she used Christmas cards and she added a little hanger and a little brad with a closing. And you know how um, they sell those little like Christmas balls with candy or whatever inside? Um, it, it gave, gave me kind of like, you know, I think that's what she was trying to do. A little box that could be a gift, but could also be a Christmas ornament. So there you have that, okay? Um, now, another little thing that I added besides the little closure, here's the closure again, is I added little feet to the bottom because I thought, how cute are these like little, um, like, you know, ornaments on a table or something? But it just needed a little something. So all I did is I, I took some pins, you know, those pins that you use for, corsage pins, I think that's what they're called. And I added a little bead and I just put some glue. Um, I used Weld Bond. That's a really cool one. I tried using Fabri-Tac, and um, it didn't quite work as well as I would like. So I used Weld Bond, and that seemed to work really well. And um, just threaded the pin through there. I, I I added Weld Bond throughout the pin and threaded it through there, and it seems to be working pretty well securely around. And then on the top, I just again using using Weld Bond, I I glued a little bead to the top. And then in this one, I actually, I was trying different things. I folded the card in thirds, and then I folded it in half this way. So, I mean, the idea is that it's just something to help it close a little bit better. And there you go. So it's a little bit more closed that way. 
than just leaving you know the flap so but I love these bandana cards um, I had a double deck so I got one deck in blue and one deck in red and I just thought they were perfect for this these little boxes so that's what I did with those and the other thing that I made was again using these little bandana uh, cards and then just a regular bicycle actually that's not a bicycle I think that is a uh, I forgot the brand but it's just a regular brand of playing cards is I made these little tiny notebooks and I just did it super plain super simple I took a sheet of paper and cut it in size to fit I rounded the edges and I just stapled it in the middle and because these are so tiny the staple fit just right I mean I have a small stapler and it fit just right you know just to put the staple it like this so I put the um, you know the closing part of the staple in the middle and what I actually wanted to add and I didn't do it before doing this video I've been meaning to but I haven't gotten around to it is I, I still don't like the uh, staple showing in the middle so what I'm thinking I'm gonna do is I'm just going to glue this either this way or this way I haven't decided which way and I'm gonna make the middle a little pocket because I don't have any pockets in here it's just a little notebook I mean I could add something here I could add something there but I just wanted to to, you know to see how these would look and I really like them so I apologize for showing them to you unfinished but so that's what I plan to do make a little pocket in the middle and then maybe go on to embellish them or you know add something inside but I kind of wanted it to show that it was a card you know I mean that one you can tell but like these I really like how these came out and um, I was gonna round the edges because these are already rounded but my I only have one rounder and my rounder is this medium kind of size or I don't know if that's large so it doesn't quite match so I was thinking of rounding these too but I don't know I haven't decided if, if I want to do that if I like that or not yet but again the middle I'm just gonna glue the edges to make a pocket inside and there you have it just plain little notebooks with some little paper super easy and so far I've done those, but I have a feeling I'm going to make a lot more of these. <laughs> so, I mean, that those are my cute stocking, stocking stuffers, right? I actually have a whole bunch of golf pencils that I picked up. I thought I would use those in my classroom, and I have a whole bunch left over. I'm thinking, like, one of these little notebooks and a golf pencil might be a cute little gift, you know, just tied together with a ribbon or something. So, I don't know. That's an idea. So, I'm going to put these in here. That cute. Okay, you guys gotta lay down. You guys gotta lay down. I'm knocking everything out here. Oh, and the thing about these boxes, again, I mentioned it was just folded together. So, so to make these boxes, all you need is a few cards. Not even a full deck, but several cards. And um, you need the cards and maybe a bone folder, but you don't even need that. I mean, you could just use your fingernails. But um, there's no tape, no glue, no scissors. It's just folding. So definitely check out Elizabeth's um, tutorial on that it's, it's really really cool okay and then this one I'm kind of most excited about um, this was also a double deck these uh, Monet cards with the green on the outside and the gold on the outside here and I just really love the cards um, and a while back at either Joanne or Michaels I don't remember which I had seen this little thing on clearance that was like an accordion uh, no little notepad whatever like this and I thought, oh, that's cool, but I wasn't even willing to pay the two or three bucks, whatever it was on clearance for. I thought, shoot, I could make that. And I thought that these were the perfect things to, to do for that, is these uh, pretty cards. So actually, all I did, and this was just an accordion this way, and it was much longer. But what I did is I just used a piece of ledger paper. And mine actually opens like that. So I really like this. Actually, see, I cut it too short on this side and you can see some of the card, but I'm okay with that because I kind of like that you can see a little bit of the card and you can tell it's a, that it is a card. But really, all I did is I took the paper, I folded it, and then I folded it around the card to get the shape. And then I took it out, folded it around the card the other way, and just did a back and forth fold. fold. And once I got... Um, well, obviously, I folded it in half this way first. So this is the paper. I folded it in half the long way. And then I started folding it around the card back and forth like that. And, and then what I did is I just glued 
one card to either corner like that and I, I just really love this because you can use it like this you can use it like this you know writing it this way or the other way so you have a lot of pages this way like this or you could open it up and obviously it's got the little holes and everything but if you wanted to you could write in it this way you know or draw or whatever I mean it's just I think it's a cute little thing to have in your purse you know to make notes or whatever and you can use any kind of paper now, if you had the long ledger paper or like legal size paper you know you could make even more accordion folds on it one two three little projects you know this is twice now I'm going to show you the cards that I have that I'm destashing so I have like a deck of each of these cards so what I did is I just took one of each and I put them in an assortment there's over 60 here I started out with like 62 but then I kept finding other cards and adding to it so I think I'm up to like 66 different cards or so so I'm gonna run through them really quick okay
Okay, that's all of them. Um, again, uh, I didn't count through, but there's over 60 cards. Um, these uh, little dog cards are, are really cute. They came in a box this shape uh, that looked like a dog. I don't have it with me right now to show you, but there's a different dog on each card, and um, this happens to be the Shih Tzu. Um, I kept the Yorkshire Terrier uh, from one of my journals. Um, but there's other breeds on there and there's only one of each breed so each assortment will have a different dog on it but look how cute the back has got the little paws so um, I am de-stashing these um, I don't have uh, an active Etsy shop right now um, so I will say if you are interested in, in getting uh, an assortment of these cards um, I can send them within the US for $10 shipped that's including the shipping um, and I, I mean I think that's a fair price because the shipping alone is going to be about, well, probably about four dollars so I mean six dollars for over 60 cards you know all different I think it's pretty good but you know I don't know you let me know have a conversation with me <laughs> if you think otherwise um, so just email me and um, I, I have put together at least a dozen of these sets and again they will all be different as far as the cards that you get you know the, the dog breeds and let's see the um, actual cards is a mixture of face cards and you know number cards um, some may have more of one or the other I really have not gone through every deck to you know put them in any specific order so um, these are cards from a cranium game that I just thought were kind of cool. I have this little um, word find in here and the words that you find or look for are in the back there. So I just thought I'd throw that in there because um, the game is not complete. So might as well do something with the cards and they are a little bit smaller than the regular card. So okay, um, I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, the ideas that I shared that of course I stole from others. <laughs> And, um, you know, let me know what you think of the cards, my collection, and um, which one is your favorite. Um, I also have a few uh, Christmas cards that have um, I've come across, um, Christmas um, playing cards, um, that I think I'm going to put in another lot. There's a lot fewer than those. I think I only so far have found like maybe five or six, but I was thinking of maybe putting them together with some other Christmas items to de-stash those separately. So let me know what you think about that, and um, I will come back in another video to show you those. Okay, well, thank you so much for spending your time with me. I always appreciate it, and I always wish you a very blessed day. Bye-bye.